<laughs> Hi Shedders, just writing a postcard for Tony at Shed TV. We've got a jam-packed postcard this month, so we better jump in and get started straight away. Now a strange thing happened on the way to Sovereign Hill. I can't believe it, as soon as we got out of the car, walked through the front doors, everything's gone. It's like we're back in the old days. Sovereign Hill is an outdoor museum telling the story of Australia's gold rush history. It focuses the impact of the great 19th century gold discoveries along with the growth of Ballarat. Oh, hang on, there's the problem. <coughs> Back in colour now. Then we went to Tasmania. Every way we go at the moment, we're, uh, we're hemmed in. We're not really sure whether we're going to make it to the airport or not. The outcome of the sudden deluge in the northeast corner of Tasmania is that we did miss our flights and were trapped in rising flood waters for over 24 hours. Scary stuff when you have a situation potentially dangerous and not in your control. But someone who is definitely in control with their outlook on life is John Hammond of the Smithton Men's Shed in Tasmania. Spider caught up with him and had a chat. Hi, it's John here. Welcome to our Men's Shed. Um, Circular Head Aboriginal Corporation started this up about six months ago. Um, we had a group of elderly gentlemen who um, were doing probably nothing more than sitting at home and um, twiddling their thumbs. Their partners had probably um, passed away and they needed something to invigorate themselves. And uh, we are about to put some workbenches in and um, build bunk beds, um, picnic settings, um, anything that can help the wider community, people in need. These guys absolutely love it. Um, I'm sure they live for their Mondays just as a get together and spin old yarns and, uh, and generally have a great time. So fantastic outcomes are coming out of our mentorship. And before we sign off for another month, just quickly, here's a few snaps we took over in New Zealand. The main area we explored around was the Coromandel Peninsula, which is a little to the right of Auckland in geographic terms and has a wow factor close to perfect. Until next time, Shedders, and don't forget to have a squiz at Shed TV. Better go and post this. Bye. <coughs>